Hello Year 5, Mr Hill here with your arithmetic for this week. Here are your questions for Monday. As always, pause the video to do your work and when you're ready, press play to carry on and find your answers. Amir has thought of a two digit number and there are three different answers to this question. They are 35, 36, 37. So they are, the two digit number must be greater than 3,450 but less than 3,750. So the two digit number has got to be 35 or bigger and 37 or fewer. So when we multiply by 100, all of our digits move two places to the left in their place value. So 35 multiplied by 100 becomes 3,500. 36 multiplied by 100 becomes 3,600. And 37 times 100 becomes 3,700. All of these multiples of 100 are between 3,450 and 3,750. Here are Tuesday's questions, Year 5. Pause the video here. So looking at the models for our reasoning question today, we've got a part whole model for part A. So to work out what needs to go in the missing model or missing circle rather, we need to subtract 12,532 from 63,826. That gives us a number of 51,294. Now we can check our answer by adding 51,294 and 12,532 and making sure that we get the answer of 63,826. Part B is very similar, it just takes an extra step. So we know our whole bar model is worth 23,000. We've got two parts of our bar model, 12,365 and 4,017. We need to add those two numbers together to give us the total that we need to subtract from our overall number. So we add those two numbers together and we end up with 16,382 that we subtract from 23,000. That gives us an answer of 6,618, which is what the missing value is. Again, we can go back and check our answer. We can add 12,365, 4,017 and 6,618 together to give us our answer back of 23,000. Welcome to Wednesday's questions year five. Pause the video here to do your work. Press play when you're ready to carry on. So Teddy is wrong because he won't have enough tiles. So if he's ordered eight boxes of tiles with 10 tiles in each, he will only have 80 tiles. He will be four tiles short of the number he actually needs. So in this instance, he would need to round up. So he'd actually need to order 90 tiles, which would mean he'd need to order nine boxes of tiles. For the same reason, Dora would need to order one more box than it would necessarily round two. So Dora will need 11 boxes of tiles to make sure she has enough. 11 times 10 will give us 110, which is more than 103. 10 times 10 only gives us 100, which is not enough tiles. Here are your questions for Thursday, year five. Pause the video here to do your work. And when you're ready, press play to carry on. We've been looking at finding factors this week. So we know that the factors are the numbers that get multiplied together in order to make the number we're looking for. So the factors for 60 are 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 10, 12, 15, 20, 30, and of course 60. The factors of 84 are 1, 2, 3, 4, 6, 7, 12, 14, 21, 28, 42, and of course 84. The highest common factor in both of those lists is 12. Here we are, year five, we've made it to Friday. Here are your questions for today. 
pause the video when you're ready to start and press play when you're ready for your answers. So Teddy's given us a bit of a challenge here. He's thinking of two numbers between 70 and 80 that have common factors. The numbers Teddy is thinking of are 72 and 80. So the numbers must be even because most of the factors, two, four and eight, are even numbers. So we can take away the odd numbers already. So we know we've got 70, 72, 74, 76, 78 and 80. And from what we've done this week, we know that factors of four, sorry, factors of eight will also be factors of four. So we can look at the highest common factor between the two numbers, which would be eight. So we look on our list and we look for numbers that would be multiples of eight. And the two multiples of eight that we've got are 72, which would be nine times eight, and 80, which would be 10 times eight. So the two numbers that Teddy was thinking of were 72 and 80. Have a lovely weekend, Year 5, and we'll see you all again on Monday. Take care.